So we know that excellence is expensive and investing in our nonprofit community is one of the best ways to ensure that all community can thrive. Welcome to the Nonprofit Podcast Series. Our purpose and passion is to highlight a nonprofit organization in each episode, giving that organization an opportunity to tell their story in their words to better inform and educate the respective communities they serve, as well as providing one more tool for them to share their message to constituents and donors. Our goal is to help build stronger communities through shared voices and to both encourage and support the growth of local nonprofit organizations through podcasting. So, Chris, tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, well, my name is Chris Ringness. I'm the Communications and Public Relations Coordinator for the El Dorado Community Foundation. And I'd just like to take a moment and say thank you, Jeff, for having us on and allowing me the opportunity to share the Building a Better Nonprofit program. Chris, it's absolutely my pleasure. If you could tell me a little bit about the El Dorado Community Foundation, I'm not sure everybody really understands what, what that is. Yeah, well, the El Dorado Community Foundation, we serve a lot of different roles in the community. We're, we're a grantor, we're a place for donors to direct their charitable giving, and we're an intersection of all things community. At our core, we're stewards of charitable funds that have been opened by donors who care about the community in which they live. And that community is the El Dorado County community. Correct. Which spans all the way to Lake Tahoe, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does. South Lake Tahoe is a part of El Dorado County. And a lot of people just don't realize it goes that far. It's true. So what really is this Building a Better Nonprofit program that you guys are hosting? Yeah, Building a Better Nonprofit is a series of free educational classes designed to provide the nonprofit community with the tools needed to reach the next level of excellence for their organizations. And that would be for organizations, nonprofits that were within the, the geographic confines of, of El Dorado County. El Dorado County. Okay, great. So I've got my nonprofit and I'm looking at my, my team. Who really should attend these classes? In order for these organizations to really get the most out of these classes, we're strongly recommending that certain key individuals attend each class from each organization. Of course, anybody that, that feels that they would benefit from the knowledge that they would gain uh, are welcome to attend. But the individuals for each class that we are recommending are for the, the first three classes, for, for the governance class, the organizational structure class, and the investment development and retention class, we're strongly recommending board leadership, president, vice president, executive committee, secretary. For the second class in particular, anybody that is involved in the succession planning or recruitment process. And for the third class, anybody that is involved in fundraising development. For the fourth class, the communications and public relations class, we're strongly recommending anybody that is in charge of the marketing or communication for the, for the organization, including the chairs of those, those committees, if, if they have those committees, anybody that manages the website, social media, even if they are volunteers with the organization, we would recommend they attend. And for the fifth class, the nonprofit accounting class, we're strongly recommending anybody that uh, handles the finances, the finance chair, treasurer, anybody that does the books, accounting for the, for the organization. So over the course of the series, you're actually probably going to touch everybody in the organization in some way, shape, or form all the way down to the volunteer level. Hopefully, yes. Good, because it sounds like it's a great opportunity for organizations that may not be as polished or may not be as sophisticated to really learn about the steps and the process in building a better nonprofit. Exactly. So what would be the benefits to the organization for those who attend the classes? Well, aside from the obvious benefits of gaining valuable knowledge and tools to help an organization achieve the next level of excellence, attendance at all of the classes in the series will qualify a nonprofit organization to apply for Endow El Dorado capacity building grants of up to $50,000, renewable for one year for a total of up to $100,000. So we know that excellence is expensive, and investing in our nonprofit community is one of the best ways to ensure that all community can thrive. 
to qualify for this funding opportunity, it is strongly, again, strongly recommended that those organizations send the recommended individuals who are best suited to each one of the classes. So as a nonprofit organization, I send my team, they glean the benefit of the classes, they then have the opportunity to be qualified for 50 up to $100,000 in grant money from the El Dorado Community Foundation? 50000 for the first year, which can be renewed for a second year uh, for up to a total of $100,000. So an additional 50000 for that second year if it is renewed. It seems like a win-win for any organization because first they get the education and the ability to exercise all these tools from the training from the classes. And secondly, they have the opportunity to actually qualify for funding in grant from the community organization. Absolutely. Wow. So if I'm a brand new nonprofit, I would have a whole different set of needs compared to somebody who's been established. Will I be able to benefit or will my team be able to benefit as much as somebody who's a more sophisticated, more established organization. It's absolutely true that new and established nonprofits are at different stages of organizational growth and would have different learning needs as a result. Uh, It's our hope that we'll be able to impart some valuable information to both the fledgling nonprofits and the well-established nonprofits. But it's, it's certainly likely that fledgling nonprofits will stand to gain more from these classes as they're just in a position to learn more. Because they're in the beginning stages of development, it is our belief that the newer and less established nonprofits will have the most to gain from these classes. Are the classes interactive? Is there an opportunity for, let's say, some of those on the other end of the screen to ask their questions in real time so they get answered in the appropriate segment of the class? There will be question and answer sessions for all of the classes. Those question and answer sessions are primarily going to be at the end of the session. Some may allow for questions during the class. We will also be issuing polls during the class to help keep them interactive and keep the audience engaged. This seems like a pretty novel process. I I don't know that it's been done before, or I don't know that the... El Dorado Community Foundation has done it. Is this the first time you guys have gone through this process? Prior to the pandemic, the foundation used to do a series called Elevation, uh, and we would invite the nonprofit community to an in-person class of sorts where we would educate them about uh, different topics. Uh, We did this once a year, and since the pandemic, their elevation has not occurred. This is a much more focused and intensive elevation, if you will, being that it is five classes all within a five-week period. There's also, you know, a much larger incentive with the capacity building grants being available to those that, that attend all five of the classes. Well, that sounds like a much better process, and it probably gives the opportunity for the organizations on the outside in to better schedule because it's not in person. Certainly, the, the virtual nature of these classes should make it a little bit easier to attend. The program sounds really interesting. It sounds really valuable. Tell me a little bit more about it. How did it come about? And really, what are you looking to achieve by offering this to the nonprofits in the county? Well, as a community foundation, we're always looking for ways to support the nonprofit community. We know that successful nonprofits are one of the keys to overall vitality within the community as a whole. We hope to improve the knowledge base within the nonprofit sector with these classes, of course. We also understand, though, that excellence is expensive. And that is where the capacity funding comes in. Knowledge is only one part of growth and improvement. It also needs to be paid for. And by that paid for excellence being expensive, do you mean the opportunity for the grants for these nonprofits? Correct. The opportunities for the, for the capacity building grants. Excellent. So let's talk a little bit about those capacity building grants and, and how are they different from a normal grant? So typically, grants are awarded to fund programs, which is great and certainly needed, but operational needs tend to go unfunded, which stagnates organizational growth. These capacity grants will be aimed at funding those operational needs, like incorporating modern software, hiring, a new, uh, hiring and training new staff, or upgrading computer hardware. 
things of that nature that are really able to have an impact on elevating an organization to the next level. So they're kind of like the infrastructure bill. <laughs> so we're looking at the opportunity for these nonprofits to participate in what appears to be an incredibly well thought out class process. It's virtual to make it ease of access. It comes with a qualifying opportunity for grants of $50,000, not once, but twice over two years. I'm in. When do they begin? How do I go about getting involved? So there has already been an introductory class introducing the five focused classes in the series, governance, organizational structure, investment development and retention, communication and public relations, and nonprofit accounting. Those five focused classes will be held via Zoom every Thursday and Friday from 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. starting January 13th and running through February 11th. They'll be on Thursdays and Fridays each of those five weeks. The Thursday class will be for the Western Slope, and the Friday class will be for the Eastern Slope, South Lake Tahoe. So I have a question. If I haven't been paying attention to my emails that you probably have been sending to me, and I missed the introductory class, but I do want to participate. Actually, it's two questions. Do I have to take the introductory class first? And if I missed it, how do I get it? And then secondly, can I just go straight into the classes if I don't take the introductory class or don't view the introductory class? Well, you don't have to take the introductory class or, or, or view it. It can't be taken now, but it can be viewed. It is available on the Foundation's YouTube channel. As far as, as funding... Qualification to apply for the funding is available if you attend the five focused classes. The introduction class was just that. It was a, a class designed to orient the nonprofits with the overall process. It almost sounds too good to be true as I'm looking at this. You've got the qualifying grant application or opportunity. You've got the education and the benefits that come from the five classes. How much is this going to cost me? I'm, I'm sure there's there's some of sorts for an organization or nonprofit in the county to participate. As I mentioned before, the classes are free to attend for all. Anyone wanting to sign up should go to our website, eldoradocf.org, and under Community Impact in the menu, just click on Building a Better Nonprofit. The entire class schedule as well as registration links for each class can be found there. So there's, there's no charge whatsoever. The entire five series classes is simply at no charge, and the qualification application, there's no charge to apply. The only cost is your time. That's outstanding. Chris, I think what you guys are doing for both the benefit of the nonprofits in the county and for the greater good of the county is absolutely incredible. And if anybody is interested in knowing what the El Dorado Community Foundation is all about, the website is a good explanation in the contribution they make to the both empowerment of the nonprofits, but to make the community a better place to live. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Nonprofit Podcast Series. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If what you heard moved you, please reach out to that organization and do what you can to help. If you like and appreciate what we're doing to support local nonprofits, please give us a positive review, subscribe, and share. If you're a nonprofit with an interest in participating in an episode, you can reach us at info at multipointstrategies.com. The Nonprofit Podcast Network is a production of Multipoint Content Strategies and is recorded and edited by Hear Me Now Studio.